to present Marion Hosa with his Hall of Fame plaque, his former Detroit teammate and 2015 inductee, Nick Lidstrom. Thank you, Nick. Wow, what a captain. Good evening. Dobry večer, dami a pani. In the year and a half since Lenny called me, I had time to reflect on how much hockey has meant to me and how honored I am to be a member of the class 2020. With a such a deserving group of inductees, my old GM, Kenny Holland, a fellow former Blackhawk, Dougie Wilson, a six-time Stanley Cup champion, Kevin Lowe, a decorated three-time Olympian and five-time world champion, Kim St. Pierre, and a great goal scorer and captain, Jerome Iginla. It's an honor. I'm grateful to the game I love for everything it has given me. The losses that taught me more than the wins. The players and the coaches who contribute so much to my success. To my family, who provide the support I needed to get here. Because you don't get a place like Hockey Hall of Fame alone. Tonight, I'm especially appreciative of the example set for me by Nick Lidstrom, who along with being a great player, has always been even better teammate and a friend. An example of which he displayed again tonight by accepting my invitation to present my Hall of Fame plaque to me before it's placed near Slovak greats Stan Mikita and Peter Stasny. Thank you for flying over from Sweden for this. It means a lot to me, Nick. Thank you very much. I learned to play hockey from my father, a stay home D. Marcel and I will always be grateful for your guidance and support that. But we are thankful, thanks God, for my mom's hands. <laughs> as much as we love you, Dad, we know it's just true, based on the fact you never score more than one or two goals a year. <laughs> Growing up in a communist Czechoslovakia, I didn't know much about National Hockey League. My early dreams focused entirely on playing for my country. But everything changed when I got my hands on VHS tape of Wayne Gretzky. I was mesmerized as I watched Wayne effortlessly undress his opponents. It inspired me to get on the ice and to try impossible things. Wayne made it look so easy. As the year passed, my brother and I would learn about the National Hockey League, would often wake up in the middle of the night to watch the finals as a Mario and Jaromir win a cup after cup. In Mario, I found another role model. In the Axe, I realized that the Czechoslovak kid like me could excel in the greatest league in the world. And I became determined to do the same. It was Mario's demeanor on and off the ice which inspired me the most. He let his play do all the talking and his quiet way define him. It inspired me. And to this day, I still can't believe that I declined his offer to play with my dear friend, Sidney Crosby. <laughs> my career started in Trenchin, a of, town of just 50,000, which produced many great NHL players, like Big Z, Gabi, Ziggy Palfi, Robert Svehla, Miro Chatan, and my very dear friend, Pavel Dimitra. None of us None of us would be playing in the National Hockey League without the guidance of our incredible coach, coaches in Dukla Trenčín. I'd like to say a few words in my native language. Teší ma a som hrdý na to, že ako tretí hráč z malého Slovenska a krásneho mesta Trenčín som to dotiahol až tu, do Veľkého Toronta, 
do Siene Slávy. Veľmi by som chcel poďakovať slovenskému hokeju a všetkým trénerom z Národného ústva, ktorí ma trénovali. A hlavne by som rád poďakoval mojim trénerom v Dukle Trenčín, bez ktorých by toto nebolo možné. Tréner ako Bakoš, Opatovský, Mikušik, Bratranec, Boldiš, Šinkovič, Bohunický, Novotný, Čecho, Matúšek, Poč, Walter. Obrovská vďaka. Hockey had way of putting great people like former Senators GM Marshall Johnson in my path. Marshall, thank you for the impact you had on me at a critical point in my career. From teaching me by your example that being a kind and thoughtful person was important as being the best player I could be. From sending me to Portland after seven NHL games, where you knew I would learn how to adapt to North American life. That opportunity also gave me another taste of championship success when I won a Memorial Cup in the same uniform that would define my career under coaches Brent Peterson and Jula Schupler. You also taught me that I should only worry about the things I can control. A great life lesson. You always had my best interest, and I will never forget it. Playing in Ottawa was a great start to my NHL career. Playing as a rookie with Alfie, my countrymen, Zdeno Chara, Radek Bong, Marty Havlat, made my transition to North American hockey easier and a lot of fun. Having teammates in Atlanta, like Bobby Holik and Peter Bondra, opened my eyes to the idea that there was more to life than hockey. They showed me how a star player should conduct himself. I never had a more thoughtful teammates than two of them. My short stay in Detroit opened my eyes to why the Wings won constantly. Playing with Nick, Chelly, Pav, Hank Drapes taught me to see the value of being a complete player, to always remain focused on the ultimate prize. The one-on-one -on -one battles I would have with Magic Man after practices would have significant impact on me. Pau taught me an unbelievable attention to detail and passion for defense. I never for a moment regret my year in Detroit. I wanted to win, of course, but I came to Detroit to learn why the Wings won constantly. The salary cap discussions with Kenny in his office were almost as much fun as one-on-one -on -one with Pav. This showed me why passion for the game, attention to the detail at the management level is critical to long-term success. Despite the fact my path was unusual, I worked for me because it's built of the advice my, my dad gave me as a young man. He said, no matter what you choose to do, put in an effort and be as good as you're capable of being. The lesson learned in Pittsburgh and Detroit were instrumental to my contribution to the Cups we won in Chicago and to me fulfilling the hopes my dad had for me. I cannot, I'm sorry. I cannot thank Rocky Wards and his family enough for the opportunity to be a long-term Black Hawk and to that Dale Sta Talon and stand for assembling the tremendous group I got to play with. Guys like Taser, Seeps, Dunks, Kaner, Sharpie, Hammer, and many others. I will never forget meeting John Quilmill for the first time, he said. Hoss, we are gonna have lots of fun together. You are gonna love it here. You know what? He was right. Having so much Having so much success in my eight years in Chicago, I want to acknowledge some of the people I work with, kept me going, and who don't always get the credit they deserve. Thanks to trainers like Troy Parchment, Jimmy, Mike Gapsky, Jeff Thomas, Pavel Pralinsky, and Polly Goodman 
for taping me together and Dr. Terry for putting me back together and keeping my skin condition and the bay as long as you did. Flynn Rafe, may you rest in peace from where I am sure you are keeping an eye on things tonight. And special thanks to Danny Words, Jamie Faulkner, for being here tonight. I appreciate your attendance, and I'm looking forward to working with two of you. I'd like to thank to my agents, Yurit Serha, who guided me early on. Rich Winter, Peter Neverish, who had taken care of me ever since. Also to Miro Kubis and George Landa for their ongoing business guidance and support. I want to thank Rich and Big Pete especially for showing, knowing I want to more from the game than just one more lucrative long-term deal. Thank you for sharing with me the ideas to a large degree have resulted in me standing here tonight. I appreciate it, all of you have done for me and our friendship. I'm most grateful for one thing I love more than hockey, my family, whose love, support, and companionship I'm enjoying even more now that is not interrupted by games, practices, and travel. My brother Marcel has had a great hockey career that I would have been impossible to imagine during the mini sticks hockey games we played in our old two-bedroom apartment. Marcel, I want you to know how proud I am and I am of you, what you have accomplished. Six years in National Hockey League, seven years KHL, leading the KHL in scoring one year, three Olympic Games, and six World Championships. Even Todd, I am standing up here on my own tonight. In my heart, you are here with me. I love you, bro. Dad, thanks for your love and support. You taught us how to play hockey right away. You taught us discipline at an early age, and it stuck. By your example, we knew what we need to do to succeed in hockey and in life. Thanks for the steady hand that has been a great example for me. For more than anything, thanks for helping me understand what it takes to be Hall of Fame dad. With my dad, hockey career keep, keeping him on the road and away from home, my mom picked up the slack, despite the fact she worked hard Monday to Friday, catching the bus at 5.35 every morning she still took Marcel and I to early morning practices every weekend without complaint. When I watch mom energetically take on everything she does, I am pretty sure the energy I mustered to jump out of the penalty box against Nashville to score the biggest goal of my life was something I also got from her. <laughs> Thank you, mom, for everything. We all love you. I am so grateful for the opportunities I have now to play a more active role in my family. I love coming home to my daughter Zoya and Mia and my dear wife Jana more than anything. Not even scoring an overtime goal can compare to my little pumpkin Zoya running to greet me when I get back home. It makes my heart melt. Daily drives to pick up the kids have replaced drives to the ring and given me privilege watching Zoya and her older sister Mia, our mini-me, grow up. Mia is disciplined and determined. It's clear she's going to be good anything she sets her mind on to. I find it fascinating to listen to her stories about what she is doing at schools. Jana, my wife and the partner on this incredible journey, are falling in love during 2004 lockout season cause you to gamble everything to come to North America while I chased my dream to see if our relationship would turn out as you hoped. I know that couldn't have been easy. I want you to know how much I love you and how much I appreciate all you have done for me. You are always there for me when the things are tough 
and have been an author of so many great memories together. With two our beautiful girls, I could not ask for more. I especially love you remain the same. Smart, patient, caring, and low-key person I met 17 years ago. You are my best friend. I love you very much. Thank you, Haki. I love you for all you have given me. Thank you to Selection Committee for allowing me to enter the Hockey Hall of Fame. Thank you very much.